Hi. Well, I will say Happy Christmas because by the time this video has uploaded, it will be Christmas Day. It's half past eleven. I haven't wrapped a present up yet. I'm here in my Christmas present to myself, my tracksuit, or I said my leisure suit, and um, Ian says you've been watching too many American movies. It's a tracksuit and are you going to go jogging? No, I'm not going jogging. This is my Be Comfy suit. It's purple of course, it's got pockets in it and it's got a zip. And it's rather hot. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm surrounded by presents that I haven't wrapped up yet. <laughs> and although I have managed to finish Red Riding Hood, she nearly didn't because she's got Red Riding mini dress on. The pattern. It's like a little tight sweater. I am a loose crochet. So in actual fact that dress should have been massive on her. I made the cape up as I went along because there was no way that cape was going to fit either. And it was the same with the hat. You see where the pattern changes there? That was the hat. Little Red Riding. What was she called? Little Red Riding. What did I call her? Little Red Riding Rabbi. Yeah because it looked like a little Jewish school cap or a little cap that the, uh, they wear in the mosque <laughs> there was no way that was a hood I've had to add all this extra on so now she's a little red riding slouchy but the dress, I didn't have time to redo the dress the dress is so small luckily she's got her knickers on because she she'll be little red riding hood Slack Alice, wouldn't she otherwise? <laughs> and according to the pattern, there was no opening in the back. So how on earth you were supposed to get the dress on and off, I don't know. Because it would have been practically stitched on to the doll. And you wouldn't have been able to get it off at all. So I had to make a split in the back and fasten it with a button. I don't know who this pattern was designed for, but not for children to play with the dolly. So... All in all, I wasn't really. As I said, the instruct it's a lovely doll when it but the instructions are so vague. You know, they just anyway, there she is. She's got ratty tatty hair. Because as I said before, the instructions for the hair weren't clear at all. I even had Sue read them out to me and she said, This is bonkers, can't understand it at all. Just do your own things, which is what I did do my own thing but at least, at least little red riding slouch <laughs> is covering up her, her hair it's also covering up her eyes as well but she's there but as for the crochet puppets I don't think we'll even have time to make one I'm being picked up tomorrow at quarter to twelve and I've got to have a shower and get dressed beforehand wearing a Christmas sweater one that you haven't seen actually different Christmas sweater I might just pick something easy you know which is I don't know I had a lovely pattern and I can't find it for knitted little finger puppets which I thought would have been a bit easier than crocheting around me the size of a finger because I'm not much good with crocheting little things. But knitted things, maybe I might have been able to, to run a few off, you know, if I'd have been knitting them. I have got a pattern, but it's on my computer. So unless I sit in front of the computer for half an hour with a pair of knitting needles, they're not got to get done either, are they? I have got him a present. He's not as if he hasn't got a present, but I just had hope to make him some little puppets so he could do the puppet show, you know, while he was up here. But it's not going to be, is it? And I've got presents to wrap up. I'm going to have to put the table up in the back room and wrap them all up. By the way, cheers, happy Christmas. 
treating myself to a brandy and Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. Not often you see me drink, but it's Christmas Eve after all. Sorry if I look a bit ratty-tatty, a little bit harassed. <laughs> but I am harassed. No, I thought I was going to have this evening to myself. I thought the family were going out, but they decided to stay in after all. But tomorrow they can do whatever they wish because I'll be out most of the day. Well, from the afternoon onwards. Although I'll be going to bed about three o'clock at this rate with all these parcels I've got to wrap, but I'm sure you're all much more ready than I am. I've got this vision of you all sitting there with your feet up, with your nibbles and everything, you know, saying, relaxing and saying, I finished, everything's wrapped up. All the presents are under the tree. All of my presents are still in the bag. <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm so not ready. And I am just not in the Christmas spirit at all. Not at all. I've even put a load of washing in the washer. That's how ready I am for Christmas. Mm, not at all. I think it's one of the first years ever that I'm just not, you know, at all into it. Usually I do try. God, this is a moany Christmas video, isn't it? I only came on to wish you all a happy Christmas. <laughs> and here I am moaning about I'm not ready, I'm not ready. If you're all ready and done and dusted, I envy you so much. Maybe my New Year's resolution or revolution, as our aim used to call them. My New Year's revolution would be to try and get more organised. Maybe I should start in July. <laughs> Getting ready for Christmas. <laughs> Fortunately, for a couple of presents, I've got things in my bag of tricks that didn't sell on Etsy. So some people are going to be getting my crochet gifts that I hadn't sold. But at least they've come in handy, haven't they, as presents? At least I've not got empty-handed, am I? So I will be doing something. Oh, dearie me. And anyway, I'm going to go. It's a very, very short video. I've been sat tonight watching other people's videos, trying to catch up with a few. And I'm probably going to go back into... Um, the other room and watch a couple more videos while I wrap these parcels up. So anyway, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas, I should say. I won't be having a Merry Christmas, I promise you, I'm only having the wandering. <laughs> it's just to get me revved up, ready for wrapping these parcels up. And thank you all for your support over the year, or the years with some people. Some people have been very, very loyal to me and they've been here for years so thank you very very much I do appreciate it at least I'm not talking to myself am I? <laughs> when I have my friends beyond the camera my friends that live in YouTube <laughs> or you live in my PC you might not live here with me and I may not see you but you do live in my YouTube excuse me cheers I need fortifying. Don't usually need a drink, but tonight I really do. Anyway, I'm looking forward to Christmas Day tomorrow, mainly because I don't have to cook anything. I didn't cook today, actually, because my uh, I keep calling her my sister-in-law. My daughter-in-law had made beef stew. So, at least I had that. Tomorrow morning, they're out quite early-ish. Um, I've told them to wake me up because I need a shower and everything like that because they are parcel distributed. Because when they come back, they're going to put their feet up. Just them and the dogs are going to be here. Christmas day. I don't know what they're planning on doing. They just said they're planning on lounging about, watching a load of TV. That's what they plan on doing. I don't know what I'm doing, apart from <laughs> going to my sister-in-law's. I do hope we don't play party games. I really don't like party games. I am such a Grinch. 
I really am a Grinch when it comes to party games. You'll probably love them all, you'll probably dare play them. My ex-husband used to love them, he used to get the Monopoly out and I used to make sure I was out first, you know. My son used to say, you're cheating, you're cheating, you can't always be out first. You're not playing the game right. So they'd be there arguing over the Monopoly and I'd be sat there doing my knitting or doing my crocheting or whatever I was doing. I just wanted them all to leave me alone. I am a party pooper, I've said that before. A real party pooper. As soon as the games come out, guessing games, whatever games, I want to go home. I have never liked games. I don't like playing cards. I've never played cards hardly at all. I don't like drafts, chess, anything at all. I'm just a crafty person and not a games player. I've never played on things like Playstations, Wii's, everything like that. Never played on them. Not interested, don't want to. I play Solitaire on the PC. I used to play it with proper cards before I got a PC. That's my idea of what playing cards used to be. I didn't even like Snap. And Irene used to make me play that, is it Happy Families, Mr Bumble or something, whatever they were called. Or Mr. Baker and Mrs. Baker and all these. I never liked that. And that thing, who killed Mrs. Such a Body in the library with a candlestick and all. Oh. <laughs> I don't like them. And all these kaplunks and oh. Am I the only misery? There must be somebody else in the world who doesn't like playing games. Am I the only one? And guess what I've done? I've put the washing machine on and I've not moved the laundry basket. So this time the kaplunk will be me. Unless I go in and move it before the it gets to the spin cycle. <laughs> and as they've gone to bed it might wake them up. Oops. Oops. I had to go upstairs and get the presents down after they'd gone to bed of course and I'm banging and clattering about. And then Sky decided she'd go up the stairs to see where I was. So Irene comes out of the bedroom and tells her off and tells her to go back downstairs. And then I'm clattering away <laughs> down the stairs with all the presents. <laughs> so I don't think I was very popular. <laughs> and then I heard him say, I think she's losing it, the old girl's losing it. <laughs> and I said, Oi, I'm on the stairs here, I can hear you. And he said, you shouldn't be here, Wicked, he said, I wasn't talking about you, I was talking about the dog. He said, she's losing a lot. <laughs> I thought, yeah, right. <laughs> the old girl's losing the plot. You know, the old girl's lost the plot a long time ago, I've got news for you. Anyway, I really hate wrapping parcels up. I told you mine looked like badly wrapped parcels of fish and chips. So, me. A little red riding rabbi. <laughs> I say bye bye to you. With a tarty frock on. Showing her knickers. She's such a such a naughty girl. Oh, excuse me, I've got hiccups now, that's my brand. Right, I hope she likes her. She's supposed to have a basket. She's supposed to have a basket. I've lost interest <laughs> in making her a basket. Maybe I'll make her one in the morning if I feel like it. I was going to make her a load of clothes, but I'll make them later and post them off. Awesome. If she plays with the doll, she may go, Phew. I don't even know if she's got a doll. Don't even know. Especially not this ratty tatty doll with the ratty tatty hair. If anybody else has made this doll, you let me know how you got on. Did your dress come out this little? I mean, if I was using the yarn that was thinner, 
it still should work because I was using thinner yarn for the doll itself. So everything should be in proportion. I mean, I asked somebody how tall their doll was and they said 16 inches. Well, she's barely touching 12. So, I don't know. But the dress, I'm sure the dress should have increased. You know, to be a bit more flouncy. Anyway, happy Christmas to you all. Or Merry Christmas if you're having a drink. It is now 20 to 12, so Mummy Christmas had better get going. Because she's got parcels to wrap and everything to do. And maybe a finger puppet to make if there's time. Because I may not feel sleepy after I've drank this brandy and coke. <laughs> That's Coca-Cola, by the way, not coke that you sniff up. Well, I think you sniff it up your nose, I've no idea. Never taken drugs in my life apart from the ones prescribed by my GP. Right, as I said before, I hope you're all having a happy Christmas. Merry Christmas, whatever. And if you're on your own, well, just chill out, get your nice box of biscuits out, pour yourself a drink, put something nice on the TV. That's what I did for a few years until I got invited to my sister-in-law's. I must admit they didn't know I was sitting here on my own. They didn't know. Of course, pride, I didn't tell them, did I? I just said, oh, I'm okay, I'm fine, yeah? And it was only when they realised after a few years that I was spending Christmas on my own, that it was like, oh, you must come round, you must come round. So this is where I've been going ever since, yeah. So I know what it's like to sit there and watching everybody else having happy times, riding their new bikes up and down the street, you know how it goes. And I'm sitting here going, hey, that's very nice. <laughs> Still. Oh, I did get a new pattern. Oh, today, amongst other things. I don't know whether you can see it in the bag or not. I'll take it out. When I'm going to find time to make all these things, I do not know. But I quite liked it. There it is. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's done in double knitting, I think. It's a Wendy pattern. It's a very old one, I think. I've never seen it before. I've no idea what this... Ooh, stuck on the sellotape now. Good job it's only a picture there and not any words. It comes with a little card. I don't know what the actual stitch is. You know, for the top part. Upper back, upper body. Oh, commence the pattern. Oh, I don't know what the pattern is. It's on a big hook, so maybe it is just like a double crochet or something. It does look an unusual stitch. No doubt I will find out when I try. I find if I read a pattern before I start, then it puts me off. Because I think I can't do that, I've never heard of that stitch. <laughs> I'll do something else. But if I actually sit with my hook, and try this with other stitch. I'm usually okay. Usually okay. Unless it's a bobble. You know how I feel about bobbles. Right. I really am going this time. Parcels to wrap. Things to do. All that jazz. So bye you all. Have a very merry Christmas. And I will see you. Maybe not. Well, it won't be Christmas Day. I won't be seeing you then. Maybe Boxing Day. You never know. I might subject you to my presence. Bye, y'all. <laughs>